it, it's Kevin Post with thecreativeorange.com and I am going to take you through, we're going to do a beauty shoot of Essie. Essie, get over here. Come on. Come on, get over here. Her long hair and all. We're going to use the beauty dish on this. This wonderful thing here. Probably going to use a diffuser over the front of it too, but we're going to use a beauty dish and we're going to do a beauty shot on black here with Essie's hair blending into the black. So we'll try and make that not happen. But um, So we're gonna actually set this whole thing up. I'm gonna use my Bones model lights and let's go ahead and get started. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna attach the beauty dish to the head. It's got a, this uh, Bones I love because they have a universal mount, all their stuff. So you basically just put it on there and click it in and you're good to go. Okay, so this is the Bowens uh, Gemini 500R. Um, the beauty of uh, monolites is that you plug them right in the wall, there's no power pack. Um, that has good um, things and bad things. The good thing is they're all built in, so it's really easy to use. The only thing is like, if you get it up, if you've got a light up high somewhere, you're gonna need a ladder or you're gonna have to lower the light to uh, change the power output and stuff. So um, pretty basic, turn it on. You got a beep there that tells you, okay, it's ready to go. Um, you got a bunch of different things back here. Cell, beep, um, ready, and that kind of tells you if whichever things you want on here, you know, if you want to beep and all that, um, I do. The cell is so that if you're not using a um, radio trigger, it'll, it actually has infrared built into it. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, and let's look at the power output on this thing. You've got full stops, and then you've got tenths of stops too. Um, so you can move those around and that's how you control your lights. So we're going to go ahead and get started and we'll get Essie out here in a bit and let's light her up. Okay, so here we are, basic lights, lighting setup. We've got the beauty dish on the monolight and then we're going to bring Essie in. Come on, Essie. She's doing double duty here. She's filming and being filmed. So let's have her come in there. Um, so the basic thing with the beauty dish is you want to make sure, here, hold on, hold that. There you go. And she's <laughs> assisting too. You want to make sure that the light is the same angle to the face for the most part. We're going to do some other things here with this too. But So basically, like a, if I have the light like this, we want to bring her chin up to that too. So, um, so let me go ahead and adjust this down here a little bit. And let me take it up just a hair, like so. So that's your basic beauty light setup right there. And I'm gonna shoot from right underneath here. Uh, first thing I wanna do though is I'm gonna get a meter reading. Okay, so we're gonna take a light meter now. You can do this just you know with LCD if you want to, but I'm actually gonna use a light meter. I'm not gonna go through how to use this, but this basically tells me the f-stop that I need uh, for the ISO I'm using. So uh, I'm gonna start at the middle of her nose and I'm getting f-22, which is gonna be a lot. So I'm gonna bump that down. Let's take it down. Okay, so I took that down two clicks, which should be two stops. There we go. I'm at left F11. It's actually 11.1 right there on the nose, so let's check up top here. 11.1 there, and then down here 11.0. So I've got really even light from uh, her forehead to her chin. So now let's check down here and see I'm dropping off like a half stop right here. So that's why I use a light meter, so that you know where your light is actually hitting from side to side. I'm good to go there, I'm down a tenth. So I'm at F11, that's where I'm gonna shoot this. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna start shooting and we'll uh, get going. Okay, so we're back. So as he said, if I wanna talk, I have to be here and not here. I have to be over here. So I'm gonna talk, I'll be over here. So let's go ahead and uh, let me take a test shot here. What did I say, F11? Yeah. Okay, F11. And let's just try this right here. Chin down a little bit, just a hair. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice for shot out. Um, the thing you're gonna notice with a uh, beauty dish is that you're gonna have hot spots. If they have any oily skin at all and she hasn't powdered down or anything, so you're gonna have a slight, oil, um, slight highlight here because uh, it's, it's gonna make it kind of specular. And I'll show you how to get rid of that in a second. There you go. Yeah, just lots of powder. Um, so let's go ahead and right there, right there. Lean into me a little bit. Actually, let's take a stand up for just a sec. There. Now what I did there, okay, she's gonna lean in, so what's that gonna do? That's gonna change my light, because the distance to her to my light is closer. So instead of having to do that and move my light, I just move her back. That way we keep the angles and everything the same. It's all about angles with this beauty lighting. So right there, beautiful. 
gorgeous. <laughs> no smile, no smile. Let's do no smile on this. We're doing, let's, okay, bring your body around just a little more to me and lean in just a hair right there. Beautiful. Chin down just a bit right there. Beautiful. A little squintier there. Beautiful, beautiful. Breathe in up through your mouth. I have to tell Essie to squint because she tends to go wide-eyed when I shoot her. It's just going to be one of her things. Um, now, uh, what you're going to notice here is that um, by having her lean her shoulder in, it just gives me a little nicer angle. So that's why I had her do that. Um, her hair is kind of separating from the back, or it's not separating from the background, so we're going to bring another light in here. And normally I would put a fan on. But we actually have yeah. the heater unit is actually blowing right here. It's kind of perfect. It's just a little bit of wind. But I always say to use a fan. Even if you don't need it for the shot, even if the hair is all the way up and pinned back, use a fan. It just makes everybody just kind of lighter and airier and everything. So, okay. So I'm going to set another light up. So we'll be right back. Okay, so now we've added a, like, basically a hair light to Essie. Um, the reason we're doing that is because she's got black hair and you're on a black background so you need to separate those two um, if you want that um, normally I would just like let it go because I wanted want to go black to black um, but we're gonna add a hair light here and I'm using the Fresnel spot and so it's pointed right at her hair and the beautiful thing with the Bowens Fresnel is it actually has an aperture in it so you can dial it in and out um, so I'm kind of in the middle there um, and about medium power and I, let's take a test shot here and take a look at it Beautiful. Sit up a little straighter and lean into me. There. Beautiful. That's perfect. Just enough separation there on her hair and this. Sometimes I'm amazed myself at how I can set that sound. <laughs> it comes from a long time of shooting. You know, I'm just old and I just can go, oh. um, But if you want to meter, you know, you'd want to meter it and make it just a little hotter than your main light. So um, now we're going to come back and I'm going to put a diffuser over the front of this so that you can see what that does because it'll help clear out the, uh, the little highlights on her face. So I'll uh, be right back. Okay, so we have the soft light diffuser here. We're gonna put on, it, Bowen says it's really cool because it's like, it's got a soft light on it, but it also has a grid spot in it. So you can change the grid spot out. It just puts this really beautiful light right in the middle. So it just basically snaps on the front of this thing like so. And now you're gonna lose some light with this obviously because it's a big diffuser. So let's go ahead and I'm thinking I'm going to go like a half stop. Just guessing here. And lean into me again. Sit up a little straighter. There. Beautiful. And a pretty good guess. Um, now that. That's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> it's actually two thirds of stop, two clicks. So. Um, it made the highlight a little hotter on her forehead, or I mean on her hair, but that's okay. I mean, it's like obviously if you cut down the light on here, and you need to open up so it's going to bring more light in here but that's okay it actually looks nice still so i like that let's add one more thing which i don't do very often but i'm doing it for you guys here because we're doing like, like a super mini tip here yeah. um, i'm going to bring in a reflector underneath her Ooh, oh, okay be right nice. back <laughs> okay so we have our what is this six and one reflector something like that five and one some yeah, i don't know six and one. Um, which is kind of cool it's you got gold on this side silver on this side and then you unzip it and you've got white on the inside. Um, and I think black on one of the, yeah, black and soft silver. So we're gonna start out with this one. And I'm just gonna have Essie hold this right in there, right there. Obviously I won't get your hands in there, so I would normally set something up. But for the quick tip, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> it's already enough for you. Yeah, yeah. I know, this is kind of weird. So this shouldn't change our uh, exposure too much, but it's gonna add a catch light underneath her eye here. Um, Right there, turn the camera on. Beautiful. Ooh, glamour. Beautiful, right there. A little softer. Tilt your head just a little that way. Right there, beautiful. Let's bring your hair around. Ooh, I can do this because Essie's my, you know, <laughs> I studio manager and girlfriend, so I can actually. I would never touch a client like that. I'd have somebody else do it. So right here to me. Beautiful. Push your chin out away from your body. Push away and down. Then relax. There. Beautiful. Ooh. Bring your face around to me a little more this way. Right there. Beautiful. Chin down just a hair. Right 
there. Now, I don't know if you, know if you guys noticed this, but, uh, well, first things first, I'm using the brand new 85. Uh, Nikon 185 18G sweet lens. If you need an 85, this is a sweet lens to get. Um, but I am not moving my focus around a lot. If you notice that, because I'm using a focus spot that's close to one of her eyes. Ooh, that's pretty. Right there. Hold on. Right there. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> See, you got to be ready for stuff. Um, but I'm using one of the focus spots that's nearest her eye, so I'm not having to go uh, center focus and then re recompose. Center focus, recompose. I'm focusing on one of the eyes, the eye that's close to the camera. Uh, I got one of the upper spots, and I'm able to just go over like that. Because if you look, okay, if you're using the center focus spot, okay, you center focus, and then you, like, say you recompose, what's that doing? It's changing your focal plane. So you might have an out of focus eye. So you want to use a focus spot that's closest to one of the eyes, especially for beauty, because you're in tight. And you'll see in some of these shots, I'm actually cropping off the top of her head because it's a beauty shot. So, um, so there you go. This is like in a whole like advanced quick tip thing going on here. I don't know what went on with us this week. So <laughs> anyway, uh, there you go. Kevin Foch, the creativeorange.com. Take care and we'll see you next week. <laughs>